Today we have some great news coming out of Halo Waypoint, outlining the next huge release for Halo Infinite, the Match Composer. On June 4th, the next operation comes out, Tenrai 4, and alongside this release will come the Match Composer. The operation and the Match Composer itself are going to be free updates like all other operations, so no additional money will have to be paid for this new feature. Match Composer isn't something completely new to the Halo universe. If you've played MCC after a big release there, it also has the Match Composer. It's going to be a good stand-in for what you can expect from the Halo Infinite implementation as well. At a high level, the Match Composer allows players to control what their games look like, whether that be through team composition, 4v4, big team battle, FFA, etc., or with the game modes that you want to play. So something like Husky Raid, Team Slayer, Team Snipers, SWAT, something like that. Current state in Halo Infinite is a list of game types that you can select, but there's no indication of what you're going to receive prior to going into match. Instead of going into a game not knowing what type of game you'll get, with Match Composer you'll have an idea of what playlist you're going to be playing and what format of that game type you're going to be playing prior to matchmaking even starting. One cool thing that they outline in the blog post is that it also allows 343 to put limited time rotational playlists permanently in the Match Composer. The example that they give in the blog post is that Team Snipers will now be available all the time in Quick Play Playlist. This gives you even more ability to choose what you want to play when you want to play it and have more things available to you. They also outline what the UI changes to the playlist will be. And for the most part, things will look relatively similar. The big change will now come when you select a playlist shown on screen that is Match Composer enabled. The next screen that you will see after you select that playlist will give you all the options that are available to you for the Match Composer itself. Once all of your selections are made and you pick what type of games you want to play, what you want the composition to be, you'll be put into matchmaking to search within those parameters. This system works very, very well in getting you what you want to play, but it does have one caveat that you should be aware of. Whenever you go in and you start to pick what types of games you want to play, if you're very picky in what you want to play, it may extend wait times to match you with somebody that also has those parameters. If you're not picky and just want to hop right into the action, you simply have to keep all the selections picked in the Match Composer, and your search times should function similar to the way they do in current State Halo Infinite. So what playlist will be available for the new Match Composer functionality? The list is fairly extensive, but there's a lot of playlists that are notable as some of the highest populated playlists on Halo Infinite. Quick Play will be available, Team Doubles, Rumble Pit, Infection, Big Team Battle, Squad Battle, Firefight, Legendary, Heroic, and Normal will all be part of the Match Composer playlist that you're able to use. You'll also have the Short Time Playlist Tenrai 4 available for Match Composer as well. A notable exception to the playlist that will be available are, are any of the ranked playlists. This includes the most popular ranked playlist, Ranked Arena. One additional piece of good news though for ranked playlists, even though they're not going to be using the Match Composer capability, is that two new playlists are going to be added full time to the roster, that being Ranked Slayer and Ranked Doubles. The team was able to consolidate a lot of the social playlists down, which gave them the ability to add a couple more ranked playlists to the mix. So now, from a ranked perspective, you'll have ranked arena, ranked slayer, ranked doubles, and a rotational ranked playlist. Overall, I think this is a great addition to the game and something that we've really been craving since the MCC implementation. This should hopefully make it a lot easier for people to play what they want to play and thus bring people back to the game to enjoy Halo Infinite for all of that it's become. This is only a positive in my opinion and, and I think a great end to the big releases that are coming for Halo Infinite. That's just my opinion though. What do you think? What do you think about the new implementation of the Match Composer? Do you think it's going to work well? Not so well? Give me your opinion in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Have a great one.